So let's look at my idea for uh, a TEDx presentation then um, for Gimpy. And my idea is to try and empower people to earn a little bit of extra money by accessing the other skills and knowledge that they have that they may not be using in their primary work or their primary business. So I'm going back to an old idea, hundreds of years old idea, the idea of a cottage industry. And, um, but I'm bringing it into the modern age by adding the Twitter hashtag at the front. And the subtitle here is Niche Online Businesses for Fun and Profit. So niche referring to small and micro businesses and also niche referring to uh, a specialist need. So um, one of the things that um, the internet and the World Wide Web enables these days is that you don't have to go into large scale production to be profitable. You can be profitable um, by operating quite a small business and utilizing the technology of duplication and um, the, the, uh, the worldwide reach of the, of the internet to, uh, to, to make your profit. So it's niche online businesses for fun and profit. Okay, so a long time ago I, um, I read a book called The Richest Man in Babylon and that, that really had an effect on me and one of the, one of the uh, sage pieces of advice was make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. And so ever since I, I read that uh, I've, I've thought about work and earning income um, as much as possible being able to do that from home. And that has really paid dividends in the last few years when I've started a small family. So I can spend a lot more time with my kids because I work from home primarily. Make of thy dwelling a profitable investment. And a cottage industry and a niche online business is a pretty powerful way of doing that, following that advice. So a cottage industry um, is um, where work is largely done from home as opposed to in factories. And, and of course that was the way that uh, people coped with the, uh, the seasonal nature of our agricultural history for, for many centuries. And, and even before we had money, uh, the barter system operated uh, at the local markets, at the local level. So, so the idea of cottage industry and being able to produce something at home or do something at home or repair something at home well, that was a traditional system of, of commerce and it gave people uh, some independence or some alternative to primary employment. And so anyone could do this, anyone with time and a useful skill. And because this was the case, people felt encouraged to develop their, their skills into something that could be turned into something practical. Nowadays, we, we live in very uncertain economic times and um, the, um, the idea of permanent lifetime employment with one company has, has really disappeared now. It, it, we live in um, a time where employment is casualized, um, where it's quite rare to work for one company for more than a few years. Um, even in stable organizations like defense and the public service. Careers really aren't lifetime anymore. So we have increased unemployment at the moment and also increased workforce casualization. So using casual contracts uh, and work arrangements rather than permanent contracts. And that's actually um, an increasing trend over a long period of time. And so people have decreased employment security. And so, again, we have the need to bolster our own independence from our primary employer. Now, often people take extra jobs to, do, to, uh, to, uh, to achieve that independence, but more and more we, we, we start to see people taking advantage of the, of the technology um, afforded by the internet and the World Wide Web um, to start micro businesses and niche online businesses. And so that's where I'm interested. 
Now we know that most people have more than one skill. People have many skills and not many of them are used to um, at work and, and used to, to, to generate income. Um, and also not just skills but knowledge and experience. People build that up over their lifetime and very little of it is actually used in their primary employment for most people I would think. So if you built a micro business around secondary skills and knowledge then um, that is effectively giving you more options and more strings to your bow and that is more possible today because of the technology. It's possible for all kinds of items. Um, a writer writing text or a photographer taking photos or um, a musician or an audio engineer or a videographer. Um, the, these are all possible candidates for online businesses and physical things as well. So craft items and clothing and food, th these are all being sold online. And services, obviously teaching, online teaching in particular now with some of the um, virtual classroom technology and um, uh, web conferencing technology is making online teaching and training very um, very feasible. Design work and, and advice as well can be delivered online. Basically if you know how to do something then you can probably try teaching it online and if you know how to make or repair something then you can probably advertise it and sell that online. And that opens up a lot of doors for a lot of people. Now business itself, the, the act of running a business and the essence of business really hasn't changed that much. You know, you have something that someone else wants and um, you need to make them aware of what you have, that service or the product, and you also need to be able to deliver it to them. And this whole process is of value to them and, 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 and gives you some income that um, exceeds your cost, a profit to you. Now, what I find is if you can contrast uh, a business perhaps set up in the early 2000s, and, and my, my Workplace English business and my Wedding Steps business are an example of that. I set those up before Facebook was around. Really, um, I, I set them up with, an, with, with nice websites, but the social uh, media phenomenon wasn't there and uh, we used email fairly sparingly. Um, uh, text messaging was really all the go and, and, and the, the latest fad on normal phones, not, not smartphones, just mobile phones. So this was before Facebook, before Twitter, before Google really. Um, and in the days when if you wanted to advertise a business then you, you, know, you got a Yellow Pages ad and maybe um, um, some ads in the local paper. But that's completely different now because modern marketing and um, in particular internet marketing has so much um, to learn um, and so many new terms and, and such technical terms that, that really it, it seems intimidating and possibly beyond the capacity of a normal small business person to cope with. So my point is that it doesn't really need to be that complex and the experience that I've gone through the knowledge that I've gained, I can pass on to people in such a way that they can kind of leapfrog over the learning that I had to do. And that allows them to get back to the basics of their business. So the, the, um, the main portion of the presentation I want to give is a clear technology strategy for the 21st century, for a small business, a niche business. And, um, and that is focused on using your secondary skills and, and um, extra experience and knowledge to earn some income. And hopefully some passive income, because that's really what wealth and independence is all about. And um, I really feel passionately that, that um, many people can, can achieve this with some help.